Buttercup squash is like the candy of the vegetable kingdom. One of my favorite ways to prepare this sweet squash is to make soup with it. When you add quick cooking beans like lentils or mung beans, it becomes a hearty one-pot meal. So if you're looking for an easy, healthy meal, you're gonna love this one. First, we're going to prepare our vegetables. Finely chop two cloves of garlic. Peel and slice two carrots into round. Slice two stalks of celery. A bonus I want to mention about this meal is that kids tend to love this soup and it's really budget friendly. That's the great thing about beans is that they go a long way, they're satisfying, they fill you up, and they're really inexpensive. We'll need two cups of chopped kale. I'm using the bagged kale to make it easy. I find it very convenient. It's a nice time saver when you're cooking. Rather than having to prep the kale myself, it's a great shortcut. The type of beans I'm using are True Roots Mung Beans. What I love about these beans is that they're sprouted, so they're extra digestible. They say that sprouting actually releases more nutrients. So I really like this brand of beans, but you can use any variety of mung beans that you like. Or feel free to use lentils since they might be easier for you to find at your local market. Since they're sprouted, you don't really need to soak them, but I did soak them just to make them even more digestible. Next, cut the buttercup squash. Slice the squash in half. You wanna use a rocking motion when it comes to cutting hard winter squashes, and be sure to use a good sharp knife. So satisfying breaking into one of these. Use your knife to carefully remove the squash ends and the skin. You can use a peeler for this if you prefer, but I just find it easier to use my knife to peel the squash. And if you want to keep the skin on, feel free to do that as well. Personally, I just like the texture of the squash a little bit better without the skin. Now use a large spoon to scoop out the seeds. And hey, for all you gardeners out there, save the seeds and plant them in your garden. I gave it another pass with my spoon to scoop out all the remaining rind in there. Now I'm gonna place the flat side down on my board and just cut some big slices, about a quarter of an inch or half an inch thick, depending how big you want your diced squash. And then I'll take those slices and slice them again the other direction so that I get little nice cubes. So half of a medium buttercup squash gave us about four cups of chopped squash. Heat up a large soup pot over medium high heat. Add two tablespoons of olive oil. Add the carrots, celery, and the two cloves of garlic, and a pinch of sea salt to help everything soften. Cook and stir for a few minutes or until the vegetables have softened. Now add the chopped squash and six cups of broth. I'm adding bone broth, but you could use vegetable broth to keep it vegetarian. Add the one cup of mung beans, one teaspoon of dried dill, and a few pinches of white pepper. Give it a gentle stir. Increase the heat to high and bring it up to a boil. Now we're gonna reduce to simmer on low for 25 minutes covered or until the mung beans are soft. Let's see what's happening in here after 25 minutes. It's looking good and we're gonna go ahead and add our kale. This might look like a lot of kale, but trust me, it cooks down. Add a teaspoon of sea salt. And now we're gonna cover it and cook for five more minutes or until the kale is tender. See how the kale has cooked down nicely? Adjust the seasoning to your taste and serve hot. I find that this soup is hearty enough as it is, but if you like, you can always serve it over a little bit of cooked white rice or a little bit of cooked pasta just to add a little extra texture and heartiness to it. Let's give this soup a try. And my recipes are always flexible, so feel free to add more beans if you like, change up the types of vegetables, Change it up to suit your taste buds. All right, let's give this a try. It's nice and hot. So yummy, the whole family is gonna love this. Thanks for watching and I'll see you in the next video.